Hello and welcome back to Cataclysm. We last time finished our disassembling and butchering and are now going to build a washboard. Well, actually, we are now going to carry a 2x4 in very tiring work to our vehicle. We can probably Actually, now that I think about it, we can probably bring our vehicle or a solar car. I probably pronounce vehicle very strange, so I will try to stop saying that. Uh, closer to the to the city. This doesn't have a light. What? What? Yeah, cool story. Park. Well, I will probably search a flashlight. We did actually not hit it. I am a genius driver. And we will still not hit it. We hit the engine, however. <laughs> I believe. And we also did not hit that. I'm on a roll, literally. And figuratively. So stop it. I now want to know what noise that is because if that is a zombie I will probably not <laughs> He's hiding in the trunk of some truck. Actually we are we had a melee weapon, a two by four, but I somehow believe our fists are more uh, effective. I never saw this. A leather-bound portfolio that once belonged to a clothier, a clothier design, clothing, clothing designer. Sorry, filled with sketches and notes, a skilled tailor could learn a lot from this from this volume. So this is probably amazing because it will help us uh, develop tailoring. But we will have to get rid of something, and I will eat the cooked meat. So. Oh my god, it's enormous. I feel like I should, uh, I should make heavy lifting sounds while carrying that. Like... Uh, because... It's five... Where is it? Oh yes, I can... How big is it? Or is it just... That's a eight volume book. What? It's like an entire, well it is not directly a book, it is, well, just a norm, I guess. Uh, what do we want to drink? Yes, give me some of this chocolate drink and then this disgusting sport drink. Um, the chocolate drink first. So the bad taste tastes long. And yes, I at this point want to get rid of volume, so just drink it. Do I have enough space combined in these three and two, so only five space. We can place, well we can probably take these energy colas, no, we can place an energy cola, this weightless snacks and well, I guess the batteries, the essence, and the pliers in the door, and hopefully drop more here. <laughs> I really hope. Five, two more. I will probably take. I don't know. Hmm. The shovel, written. We don't have enough space. I will make a little stash here. The book, the cookies, the serum kit, <laughs> the portfolio, and take care of them. Then take this. Actually, we can take a lantern with us. I'm so glad I remembered that we have this. And make a washing board. Great. And we can. We didn't even use a charge of our lantern. That's how fast he finished that. Like, 
within a second he was like flick this is now a washing board he lays it like his holy hands on it and glo it glows for a second and suddenly it has like plus five to washing everything down there exactly uh, we need water. So how and where and what paint? No, we probably don't want to wash and paint. We will go down there and the backpack has so little volume. Uh, and of course, I pick it up and instantly a zombie appears to well try to destroy it. I guess. And he's dead. And if I would be really... Well... How do you call that? Diligent? About it? I would probably pick up the mp3 player, unload it and take the batteries with me. I actually managed to hit the one window I can't enter to. Well, I guess we entered to it, but not the most efficient way to do things. We will take these, we will take these, in fact, at some point we may get an, get a, uh, get another melee weapon, I guess. I don't believe so, like we should, but... Well, is there any benefit of us using a sword or something like that? I guess if we find a two-hander, we might be able to utilize its, like, wide swing to kill multiple multiple animals at a time but it's probably still faster in game time was to just kill them with a fist or awesome dragon punch kung fu master fists which are actually now level 2 and almost well we made a good way of progress here uh, yes great Quite great, great actually. Take that, tough zombie. As you can see, already at level 2, these become like easy. They still can hit us, as you could see right there, but they aren't that dangerous anymore. They're just quite, well, dangerous enough to make us cautious about just running into the myth. Of a city to the myth. Myth? Oh, myth? We have a clock. It is almost midnight. Actually, the perfect clock for us because there are pocket watches. A leather corset. Maybe. A snug black leather corset has no pockets, but its thick material provides good protection from harm. Well, I guess if I play a female character next. That would be a shaman, because I believe that is quite a bit of encumbrance. I should have checked, probably. Like, no to next protection and you can't really breathe anymore. Cataclysm, no breath one. Breath one, however. Saline solution, cold syrup, vinegar. Who has a gallon jug of vinegar in its... I don't ask. I don't ask questions. Do I need clean water or is toilet water okay to clean our clothes? How good is this implemented? Oh yes, I forgot we have to reload a washboard. Yes, we actually could have done this sooner, so we would have more space in inventory now that I think about it. But yes, you reload. Yes, fresh water to use this, so this isn't fresh water. I hoped it to be fresh water, so. All this was for nothing but some experience and guess whatever we picked up here. Uh, food? No, coffee is uh, What is this actually? Water and sugar, strength to coffee grounds, can be used to flavor many foods and beverages. We could make coffee, but no. We will kill the... Schweikart zombie. An elongated human body with a swollen chest and a gaping hole where a jaw used to be. 
does it like what does it do screen and actual hit once it didn't make damage and it carries shotgun ammunition with it oh I <laughs> I just remember that we didn't actually see a scale in this in this game what at least until now well, we did see one now, but I didn't read the description. Zombies, I remember. Oh, army pants and an army jacket. More to clean, I guess. But weird drop. Weird drop. How annoying. And can these actually have like bionics in them? I'm curious. Oh no, I believe only the super soldier zombies can have those. Spoiler, there are super soldier zombies. That's quite hard to say for me, so I won't talk about... Hey, the city is bigger than I thought. And there's a gun store. And a pool. In a pool? He made... No, we are probably not able to clean up clothes in a pool. <sighs> Unfortunately. And we don't have an electric cooking plate, so we will either have to make a, a fire, which actually wouldn't be too bad, or just use like clean water we took out of the vending machine. Activate or washboard. A large amount of fresh water. Of course, of course. Why do I even ask? Hmm. So, instead of just going well i guess and getting a pot or bringing up pot now that i let's before i run around any longer just check the store that might actually down there is a shortcut zombie uh, that might actually hold the solution to all our problems and leave the backpack here i will probably be able to find it back tomorrow when it, the light is coming out again and now I won't read that oh I will have to read that zombie and as you can see it is quite shocking experience <laughs> shock at zombie a human body with pale blue flash crackling with electric energy yes it will really fuck us up not even because it like Makes us makes us slower, but actually because it produces light, and as you can see, that attracts a lot of zombies if everything else is dark. A decaying human body, at least, it attracts a lot of zombies when we are in the light. A decaying human body, clad in tattered firefighting gear, it staggers aimlessly, reeking of smoke and decay. And actually, no, the second new zombie. Bile splatter. Oh no, he isn't bile splatter. There is bile splatter underneath him. Boomer. A wood human body? Wood town human body? Bloated beyond belief and layered in walls of fat. It emits a horrible odor. odor. And a putwit. A pot with pink sludge dribbles from its mouth. Great, isn't it? Amazingly disgusting, but also great. They are actually quite harmless. They can blind you, but well, I'll probably stay here anyway. Do they even hit me? Probably. And as you can see, without a trade, we'll probably already be there. And you can see what I meant for it. They will, the light of the choker will attract everything, everything in the environment. Fortunately enough, we managed to run away like a screaming child. We will not be able to butcher another new zombie, and I wanted to look not to move. This human corpse drags itself along slowly with its arms. Its legs are damaged beyond repair. And it might occur that I like read some texts double, but I will take that 
boost in favor of actually being sure I read everything. Well, except the skeleton text. I was I was just so OP. I killed it too fast. Prussian blue tablet. Tablets containing oxidized ferrous. <laughs> no. Ferro, 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 cyanide salts, capable of purging nuclear containments from the body if taken after radiation exposure. No, if we mutate, I will accept it. Because mutation, mutations, I would should say, can be good. We will drop the drop the disgusting backpack in favor of those. Well. We could have kept them, but it, unimportant. A hoodie, no tank top, no long sleeve shirt. Actually, or don't spit at the shirt I want to wear. In fact, don't watch me while I undress. Fucking disgusting face. Now that we are not surrounded anymore, we might take out at least the biler so they don't spit at us. And the crawler because, well, <laughs> he isn't human. I don't feel bad when I kick him when he is at the floor. On the floor, sorry. Yes, yes, that one uh, puking zombie actually had bubble wrap with him when he's alone. Like, he sits in a corner and one after another, uh, one after another pops his little bubbles. Uh, bubbles. Do we wear did or yes or new long sleeve shirt instantly got damaged? Ooh, nano skirt and boxer briefs. Actually no. <laughs> Do we want to take a Playboy? You read it for the articles. Or not? I read it for the articles. Or not? <laughs> yes I will take it. Actually we don't have the space, so fuck me. <laughs> So, do we have everything? Do we want leather gloves? Do we have winter gloves? I don't see them at first glance, so this will protect our hands against the cold. They're actually one of the more, well, exposed and therefore endangered. Why do you have that at work? I mean, I don't have anything against, like, smoking in a house in your free time. But you can't tell me that you live in a clothing store. But enough of that. Is there a window behind that? No. Well, we now have actually some storage. 24. We got like 10 storage for that cargo pan. Uh, that pair of cargo pants. We will try to find something in here. Med kits are great. Food of that quality is a not that we need more food or drink and I already well you know what we will eat pure cheese spread because well it might be disgusting but we don't have space for this shit we need a flashlight a boat an M40 magazine do they in America actually sell military grade military grade Equipment like assault rifles and okay, okay, a plastic canteen, 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 canteen. Do we want the plastic or do we want the 2.5 liters? This gives four encumbrance for 2.5 liters, and the plastic one gives two encumbrance for 1.5 liters. So I would rather wear two plastic canteens than one big one. Oh my god, he hit us. I'm so scared. He hit us again. Actually, now I am scared. Stop it. We can see that down there is a shady zombie because, well, he destroys the shelves. You're no fun. You are clever, but you are certainly no fun. 
Yes, first respawn the handbook. We don't have space anymore despite our cool new trousers or pants or whatever. Heat pack. Stem magazine and stem magazine. Guns and ammo. I should probably read that so I could orientate myself. The big book of first aid. Do we have anything we can draw for that? Probably an MA meal, uh, meal ready to eat. Can you? Yes. Thanks and goodbye. And I didn't see you. Yes, we want a model pack. <laughs> Did I already say that? I don't believe so. Oh, yes, last class. The modular lightweight float carrying equipment is an advanced military backpack covered with pockets and straps. It strikes a fine balance between storage, space, and, and encumbrance. Hmm. Yes, we of course will wear that. It's better than a backpack. Knife fighter notes. It's small, so we might as well take it. And now we will take our legs in our hands and well actually we will crush in the window. Imagine the storekeeper now comes back from vacation and a store got demolished. How mean we are. There's another hardware store up there I actually didn't see, at least not from the front. I did try to climb the, uh, climb the fence in the belief we might be faster than a zombie. Do we want to take this? Well, these are tempting because they have a lot of storage and you can just take them with you, but we don't have storage in our, in our solar car. So I will probably take the hand drill because we don't... Well, I'll probably take the cordless drill in case we need some drilling. That didn't sound right. Do we have under the hood? I don't remember, so I will take this. We will definitely take this. Constructing faster to higher constructing skill. Look at all these trashy zombies. We will start running. And probably use this car to at least get rid of some of them. And stop running. And did my vision range just got bigger or was it just some sort of lag for me? <sighs> These feral hunters are so fast. And so annoying. And they're completely stripped down the bo no, upper body. Wait, isn't there... we wear a winter cloak. But the... oh, I guess we wore the shirt over a cloak because I'm an idiot. I was like, how did they manage to hit our torso? Down there I believe was a grappling or holder or however they are called zombie. I won't read its flavor text now. What is this? A coffin. This is probably the worst place to be. And I want to see it. Down there, to this very safe window, you can see a feral runner. <sighs> Did I already read that? This recently risen body moves quickly, darting, darting its head back and forth and gnawing at all times. Did it always? Gnawing at its hands. And it did kick in the super safe window. What? I was lied to? And actually it should now soonish become day and as just noticed we should probably like go here, control vehicle and remember vehicle position so we never lose this. I was tempted to close the door but we need that door. It is ten storage. And actually if he doesn't hit us in the right arm too often, yes, we did manage to kill it before it whipped out one of our arms or something like that. Yes, stop it. Do we glow up something? We don't have an active flashlight at least. Oh, and this is actually a zombie that we already killed once. As you can see, it doesn't have equipment. If you kill a zombie and it lays on the floor, 
it let its like equipment lie where it died, but it resurrects. So this is actually a quite easy way to see who you killed and who resurrect. And actually, I will have to make this episode like five minutes short. And I'm well, you know what? Because I'm nice, I will actually go through the process of cutting five minute extra, five minutes extra behind this. But I have to go now. So see you in a sec. For you and for me. No, for you, not for me. And here I am, back in the game. Well, give me a second to reorient myself. Oh yes, we wanted to bring this car, or yes, this solar car, closer to the city. Oh, now that I think about it, yes, we have now enough space to not leave the stuff behind, and because I'm greedy and well, don't want to leave anything of value behind. We will do that. And we will in fact drive a little bit closer to the city in the slowest speed, uh, speed possible. And we want probably, well, I want to stop relatively close to the garage. And then, if at all possible, yes, close our doors. We don't want a like car thief to go out and know that's nothing that really exists. But hey, you never know. Until we well, like this. Of course, I'm too stupid to drive one square to the north. This should be good enough, right? Please tell me... yes, it should be sufficient. We will now make this. We opened a garage door. I want... Oh... Why do you do this to me, game? Do I want this here, or do I want this where I have more space? In the big garage door. I should have... <sighs> known that. I'm tempted... Oh, snap. I'm tempted to drive backwards, we orientate the car, and we're forward. Please, yes. We don't have to make another turn. So, we will now secure our vehicle in a car. Unfortunately, this is not GTA, so we can just repair it instantly. But we are not safe. We are not surrounded by tools. Actually, we are not quite safe from the outside because there are a lot of windows we can't cover up. Well, we can cover up, but we didn't cover up with curtains. So, in fact, I just in this <laughs> just in this moment decided this garage, since we already found a vehicle, will be our base because well. We can pull the in everything we own, we can just pull through the door. To the garage door, that is. So, yes, we will build up base here. And probably. Right now, we will probably go from house to house and search stuff we can cover up the windows with. And during the day, while well, we will probably sleep to heal or left and right arm but we will also well do we want to yes we will during the day hop from house to house or shop 
to shop and loot. This is riskier than during the night, as you may have noticed in the last episodes. Zombies in huge amounts when they can see you are quite annoying. And I already forgot what lays on these tables. We will probably grab those. Yes, this is making noises. And hope that no zombie hears us. We will probably do. Hmm. Over time, we will expand these, probably to this wall, and build up a base. And we can actually already move these shelves, or what are they called in game? Counters, to places where we might want them later. For example, well, I actually don't want that there. Oh yes, we attracted zombies to the noises of this. A smoker. We don't have very much environmental protection. Yes, stop this. <sighs> we will kill it. Our oh, safe mode. Oh yes, and we didn't see the zombie, so I can read its flavor text. Smoker zombie. Probably died of cancer, not actually a virus, now that I think about it. A blackened and twisted naked human body. Strips of flesh hang from its body. What? I am not a native English speaker, and I believe that is poorly worded. A naked human body and strips of flesh hang from its body. Really? And it emits a constant haze of thick black smoke. I should probably not, like, judge people because of their English skills, uh, especially with my, like, shitty English English skills. Poison. Oh yes, I forgot. This is something your version might not be, uh, not be, well, implementing. In my current experimental build, these smoke out zombies explode into poison gas. I forgot about that, and that's quite bad. We are not poisoned, we left fast, uh, fast enough. Do we have any protection? No. We are lucky. We are a very lucky person. But we still experience the effect of the smoke. First of all, it makes you like half blind as long as you are in it. And the well effect of the smoke in your lungs is minus one and uh, minus one strength and minus one dexterity. You have inhaled a lung full of thick smoke. Well, in schoolyard terms, we are cool now. Um, we probably yes, I should probably at least for the moment stop. We. <laughs> decorating our base and start something more important. This will be our sleeping chamber I just decided. So we want to... Can we deconstruct? Oh no, we can't deconstruct this because it is damaged. I'm sorry, I will have to kick this door away with my bare hands. <laughs> kick away with my bare hands. I, we don't, well, I guess. I guess it's very incorrect, but I guess you can phrase it like that, <laughs> and at least be understood. Hmm, construction. Did we not find a birdhouse monthly? Then we should be sad, not there. And not here. That's sad. Oh no, we have it in our inventory. I'm as well. I am stupid apparently. What? The destination area is full. It shows me it is space. Yeah. Does it has like does it have like a maximum weight? Because if it does, I did not know that. Or does uh, something not show properly? No, it does. 
Uh, it's a mine vehicle. The box. Um, 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 I can only remove it. Let's install box cargo. We don't have a box to install, so we can't look up what it is. No matter what it is, it is strange. Wall, floor. You can't look up if I just wanted to know if there's a roof in, on top of that or not. Well, I guess we will see. And as soon as I wet the bird house monthly or sleeping area, I will actually get a bed. But until then, we will, well, we will get a mat. Um, because sleeping on the floor is so 2015. Um, and we probably want to get a, well, I will not pronounce it correctly and I'm not willing to pronounce it after looking it up, so we will get a cog, or cog, or however you want to pronounce it correctly, to sleep in. Well, can't we see beds here? Oh, yeah, here. Makeshift bed. No cotton to, to construction. I'm just looking this up so I know for the future. Tweak construction and blanket and sheets. Uh, sheets. Sheets. Or sheets, actually. So, that's something we will build relatively quickly. After we leveled up our construction skill. And now, <laughs> without wasting any more time, your time especially, I will start dumping my stuff in this area. In fact, because I'm somewhat neurotic about my storage in this game, I will shift stuff around first. How do we want to organize? Do I want to organize on camera? I believe... no, that would be quite annoying to you, for you people. Or would it? You can actually tell me if you want. Do you want to see me organize this stuff? So it is organized when we play? Do you want me to organize it off camera? Or do you simply not care? I, I have a guess, but well, I care. <laughs> Uh, wielding Google, Google, wielding Google, wielding goggles, food, birth month monthly, I will store differently for now. So, and of course, auto pickup. Uh, I will actually turn off auto pickup nails because. Well, oh, did I save? No, I did because I'm dumb. Um, because well, I don't want to pick up any more nails. If I need them, I just burn down some building and run through the rubble, laughing and screaming. <laughs> well, it instantly with my mind powers pick up nails out of. It's becoming day. Fuck. I hope we would have a little bit more time to, well, I guess, collect materials, like blankets for windows. But it seems like we will barely have enough time. I saw a zombie. Barely enough time to get in here. <laughs> Drink something and do we have something? No, we have nothing to eat, so we will go to bed hungry. And actually, after we. Oh, yes, we sleep. Um, I'm always confused when the game like, gives me a message after I press it because I, al I have in my mind somehow embedded that the game doesn't give you a message until you wake up again, but 
I'm already quite mistaken, apparently. But like, uh, hmm. well, I guess we will end the episode after we wake up, which will probably be soon. Hmm. We might actually hit another night. No, we wake up 4 p.m. Which is impressive. I did not meant to walk. Uh, which is impressive. Yes, I will eat quickly something and end the episode. The cornbreads, mainly because we'll rot eventually. Then a sports wing, maybe two, not the energy cola. Hmm. And something to eat. We will eat because we are very healthy. And then, well, do we have like open bag of marshmallows? No, okay, we will eat an entire bag of marshmallows. Um, well, actually, we might not need it. No, not after the corn. But oh, we will actually need some. <laughs> he ate almost the entire bag. He ate it completely. Okay. That's a somewhat impressive feat, at least for me. Um, this will be our empty bottle stash. Empty bottles, paper wafers, plastic bags, tin cans, aluminium cans, all those stuff will go here. And yes, you might say, why don't you throw them away? I don't know. Mm, some recipes actually require stuff. And the containers might become useful. Probably not, but you never know. And I really should end the episode here, so I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.